And now, your first alert weather. Here's a live look over Pocatello this morning. The skies are brightening. Things around here are going to be hot. It is just going to be smoking. That's a live look at Idaho Falls there at 20 and 15 before the cameras change over. You know, we talked about how normal it would be around here yesterday, and we were on the money. Average temperature around 86. Yesterday we hit a high right around 87 degrees, and the morning low is right there where it should be. And normal records for this time of the year. We hit one uh, many, many years ago on this date in, uh, for, of 95 degrees. Now, will we surpass that today? There could be some record breaking heat. We know that there are going to be tens of millions of people that are going to be above 95 degrees today across the continental U.S. That doesn't even include our friends in Hawaii. I guess that's a little extra there for you. 52 right now and clear in Pocatello. And here's the way things are going to shake out for us. We've got UV indexes today that will burn you in 6 to 10 minutes. And once we average everything out across our viewing area, and uh, that can mean danger and heat illnesses. We do have a heat advisory that is in effect from about 1 o'clock this afternoon until the evening hours. The bold sunshine is headed our way today. We start with 52 degrees, and we've got high pressure over the top of us. We're talking about record heat into Texas, where they were 108 yesterday, and it felt like well above that any time you factor in the humidity. We're fortunate enough that we don't have to deal with that like they do in the deep south with these afternoon thunder showers that pop up in addition to the extra humidity with the heat. Now around here, a double barrel high. I don't have both of them on the map right now, but there literally is one above us. And the winds are going to be from the southwest, pushing just about 15, 20 miles an hour for the afternoon. So you got that hot wind in addition to some blaring sunshine and heat advisories in the orange to the south of Oregon and in Idaho. And we've got a fire weather warning that is in effect for Utah. And so fire danger is prevalent. So sunny and hot this afternoon. Heat exhaustion, heat stroke, nothing to mess around with. We'll have very little wind to keep you cool. You'll need to take care of yourself and make sure you protect the pets and don't leave anything in the car. Unsettled weather moves in here as we get into tomorrow. So we've got the heat into play. We bring a little southwesterly monsoonal flow in, and it starts popping like jiffy pop around here with some afternoon showers and storms. Another cold front to the north of us on into Thursday reveals the clearing that we'll see, and maybe a few more clouds begin to stack up into the afternoon. Thunderstorm risk is very light. It really stays out of the way for most of us on day one of the forecast. We begin to get that shower and thunderstorm outlook very marginal here into Thursday. So just know that we may hit hit or miss shower maybe around on into Friday Eve. The winds are going to pick up as well as we get into parts of tomorrow afternoon and into Thursday around here uh, with some minimal storm chances. Afternoon highs today will breach 90 if not past 95 degrees into the lower part of Idaho. It'll be 96 in Malad, 89 in Afton, 89 at Bear Lake. That may be the coolest place to be is in some water. Just make sure that you are protected with SPF for well above 10 or 15. 84 for Old Faithful, so we're going to be into the 80s into the parks today. It'll be in the mid 80s in Jackson Hole. And you can find some relief into the mountain areas, especially in the morning hours, where it'll be into the 40s for our villages there. 91 for Dubois, 97 today in Rexburg. The pinpoint forecast into Salmon takes you into the 90s as well and you've got a UV burn index of three to five minutes there because we're hitting those mid 90 marks. It'll be 90 in Arco and we're pushing temperatures into the mid to upper 90s for the afternoon in the Snake River Valley. 93 at the home of TV in Rigaby and it'll be 96 in Blackfoot, 96 in Pocatello, 96 degrees in Aberdeen and maybe warmer where you are depending on how much time you spend in the sun and where you put your thermometer. I'm going to put myself in air conditioning. I don't know about you. That's why they invented it. Enjoy it. Thank goodness that we have it. So take advantage of it. Make sure you hydrate. Hot temperatures, even hotter tomorrow, and a 30% chance of a roving storm around here to make things even more interesting with this hot popping weather. Salmon, it'll be 96 for the afternoon, and it, you are under a heat advisory from me. Okay, just because I know it's going to be hot. You may not be included on that map, but you better look out. It's going to be 88 and warm this afternoon in Jackson. That's warm for mountain communities, and we'll be pushing 90 degrees with mountain storms up through here Thursday and Friday. Pocatello, yes, let's find some water and stay cool. It will be 96 
for the afternoon. And in regards to temperatures tomorrow, we'll probably head toward the century mark with a slight chance of an afternoon thunder bumper and temperatures continuing to remain hot around here. It'll be hot this afternoon in Idaho Falls, 94 along the Snake River and a 30% chance of a roving storm with a heat advisory that is in effect for most of you within the sound of my face. It'll be 95 degrees de la manana. We did ask you to share a picture of something interesting at your house. I have some of those coming. <laughs> coming up. Can't wait to go voyeuring with you this morning. <laughs>